It's actually really crazy to be spending five days in a place where I actually can wear flannel and jeans and not sweat. Last weekend I went up to Tennessee to mark a couple things off my bucket list, one of which was to fly a plane in a different state. I also just got my FCS rating, so might as well throw a little something extra in there and get some river flying done. Woo! So for this video, it's gonna be a little bit of the footage from the actual flight, but I wanted to share exactly how I found the group up there, and of course, what we actually ended up doing. Google's pretty powerful, so obviously that was the easiest way to do that, and found a couple of different reviews, and ended up going with a group out of the Duncan Boat Dock, which is really close to Knoxville. I was staying over in Sevierville, so it was only about an hour drive to get over there, and we ended up taking off about 11.30 a.m., so it really wasn't an early start for me. The group flies a 172 on floats, and it actually came from the factory that way. It was not converted. The other really cool piece here is that this group, Tennessee Seaplane, actually does tours and things like that as well, not just rentals. So they knew the area pretty well and gave me a lot of options. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know I fly a 172 out of Orlando Executive. The difference though is that this was the first time I flew in a familiar airframe that actually had a six pack. So the 172 we fly out of Orlando, it actually has a G1000 and so it's all glass on the inside. A little different, but not too bad. The other difference for this particular 172 was that there is actually a constant speed prop. Now, one of the really cool pieces about going with somebody like Tennessee Seaplane up in Knoxville is that these two guys are very familiar with the air area. They're very familiar with the airspace. And it, it, since they already do tours, they kind of have an idea of what people want to see. So for me as a pilot, I wanted to get some extra time in landings, but I also wanted to enjoy some of the area. So after we finished our pre-flight, we talked about a couple of different options that we could have in terms of getting some landings in and also doing a little bit of sightseeing. I only wanted to spend an hour in the air and I did want to capture some landings. What we ended up deciding on was flying away from Knoxville towards Knoxville Downtown Island Airport and Sky Ranch, which is private. Of course, we were flying along the Tennessee River. Got about seven landings in. differences for river flying versus lake flying here in Florida is the fact that you're now paying attention to current and while you are supposed to typically land with a headwind, current can actually take the precedence there. If you've got your SAS rating, definitely go check out Tennessee Seaplane up in Knoxville. If you're looking to just experience a seaplane and do a little bit of river flying, go check them out. You can go and actually go on a tour and they'll take you around and take care of you and of course fly the plane. So you don't necessarily need a certificate to go up and fly with these guys but you're not actually gonna be flying the plane. <laughs> if you guys like the video, go ahead and press like. If you like some of the footage, if you got any questions or comments about the actual experience, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you like any kind of aviation, business, travel content, I will keep this up and share some of my experience. Go ahead and press subscribe and the notification bell next door. Hope you guys have a great weekend.